Hi everybody, welcome to CS2023. Uh, I'm Salvo Bonina, Field Application Engineer for ST Microelectronics, and today I'm going to present a demo uh, designed around our Blue Energy LP SOC, uh, showcasing the DLE power control feature. Um, but first of all, let me introduce you with uh, a few key concepts that helps understanding how the uh, LE power control algorithm works. So, number one, the RSSI is the received uh, signal strength indicator which is a measure of uh, the power of the signal uh, reaching uh, the receiver. Uh, number two, the SNR is the signal to noise ratio. This is a power ratio between the signal strength and the noise level. Uh, and then the golden range. The golden range is uh, an RSSI range where we can guarantee a good link quality between the two peers uh, uh, of the connection. Um, then outside the uh, golden range, the receiver can still hear the signal but uh, we cannot guarantee good performances in terms of uh, uh, signal quality and uh, power consumption. Then, talking about the RSSI, ideally we want to avoid uh, the following two scenarios. Number one, where well, the signal gets too low, and this results in a low uh, SNR. Uh, so this could put us in a situation where um, we cannot reach the sensitivity of the receiver device, and so the receiver will not be able to demodulate the packets. Uh, the second scenario is on the flip side, let's say, when the output power is too high, so we are wasting power. So we, basically we are in a situation where uh, there is some inefficiency in terms of power consumption and the battery lifetime of the transmitter will be uh, shortened. Now, uh, the LE power control is a BLE feature that was introduced with the Bluetooth 5.2 specs uh, and helps minimize the power consumption using a, a dynamic algorithm that will scale the TX to power up and down depending on the RF path loss between the two ends of the link. Uh, and then, minim let's say, have the uh, RSSI within an optimum uh, range. Now, we can have two cases. Uh, when the, the receiver gets a signal that is too low, he can ask the transmitter to increase his uh, output power in order to have the signal within the, the golden range. On the flip side, if the signal is too high, here we are wasting power, right? So the receiver can ask the uh, transmitter to reduce the output power in order to have again the signal within uh, the golden range. Now, uh, for the demo, we use two boards uh, implementing the central and the peripheral device uh, and establish a BLD connection. The two boards are connected through uh, an RF attenuator that we use to simulate a longer distance between the two boards and then um, we start with an overall uh, path loss of uh, 50 dB. And as you can see, the GUI will estimate the path loss between the two boards and set the output power to minus 21 dBm on the transmitter side. Now, we increase the, uh, the attenuation and the path loss between the two ends of the, the link, adding uh, um, steps of 10 dB each time. And then you, you can see that the algorithm will update the estimation of the uh, RF path loss between the two and also change the power level of the transmitter side accordingly in order to cover uh, now a link that is uh, increased in terms of distance um, and in order to maintain a reliable link between the two. We can uh, increase uh, the estimation even more to simulate uh, a physical space like an office environment or even more for uh, an industrial environment. And still the algorithm keeps uh, estimating the path loss between the two and uh, change the output power accordingly. Um, so the final goal of this is uh, avoiding uh, uh, any waste power uh, and uh, increase the battery lifetime on the transmitter side and maintain the link reliably. So, to summarize, uh, what are the uh, benefits of the LE power control feature? So number one, we optimize the power consumption and uh, we keep the TX to power to the minimum possible. Number two, we maintain a reliable uh, link. We maintain the RSSI within the optimal uh, range. And then uh, we improve the coexistence between multiple devices uh, communicating in the 2.4 gigahertz uh, band. Thank you for watching and for more information you can visit the webpage sc.com slash blueenergy